Nozzles are probably the most important part of the sprayer. It's the nozzle which really determines that we, whether we get the right rate or application rate of the product we're trying to apply onto the crop. It also determines how evenly we get it onto the crop and it determines how evenly it's deposited within the crop, down on the actual foliage itself. So nozzles are hugely, hugely important. They're also very important in terms of how much material is lost during the spraying operation. Because when we atomize uh, the spray product, when we make small droplets out of it, it is prone to drifting off. And that drift, level of drift, nozzles have a huge impact on that. And nozzle design, particularly over the last 10 or 15 years, has been aimed uh, at reducing drift. In other words, still spraying effectively, but doing it while reducing the risk to drift. The factors involved in drift are many. Right? We're talking really about, I suppose, wind speed having a huge impact. Uh, if we have very calm conditions, there's less risk of drift. But we're also talking about boom height above the crop. If we're, try if we're carrying the boom at a great distance or a great height above the crop, we can, be we can be risking more and more drift, if you like. The most common type used today is what we call an air induction nozzle. And what this nozzle does is it introduces air into a stream of the fluid flowing through the nozzle. And we tend then to get uh, larger droplets with air bubbles within them. So they give you a physically larger droplet that's less prone to drift um, with, with, with because of the air induction that, that's there, or because of the air that's entrapped in the, actual, in the actual spray particles themselves, and they're less prone to drift. And I suppose what we are saying to people is that every sprayer really should have the option of having air induction nozzles on their sprayer, so that in conditions where there is some wind, that they will be able to switch to those nozzles in those conditions and reduce the, drisk, the drift risk. Now there is a downside to using those nozzles in that if you go for very, very coarse nozzles, the efficacy of the product might not be quite as good. So you need to stay you know, within a, a, no, or a droplet spectrum that gives good efficacy, but doesn't give us too much drift. Um, so nozzle selection for that is very important.